honor to introduce to you our next president of the United States, Bill Clinton. But I also want to thank her for writing about powerful women characters and making TV look like America. I am so grateful for all of your support. Also, my friends, elected officials, great Pennsylvanians who are up here on the stage with me. I hope that you will be voting for them as well. And I really hope you're going to send Katie McGinty to the United States Senate. You know, I'm very excited. There are just three days left in this most consequential election. Are you ready? states where they're already voting. And I was just talking to my dear friend, Cory Booker, because he's been crisscrossing the country, going to a lot of those same states. And here in Pennsylvania, you vote on Tuesday. But I want you to know this, more than 37 and a half million people in our country have already voted. Because I believe they are standing up for a hopeful, inclusive vision of America. And I'm asking you to stand up for that same vision when you come out and vote on November the 8th. It's your turn, Philadelphia. Bob Brady knows that all the campaigning in the world doesn't mean anything if people don't vote. So I hope you will go to IWillVote.com to make sure you have everything you need to know where to vote to make your voice heard. Because tonight I want to hear you roar! and sign up to help us get out the vote. We're still recruiting volunteers. There are still people who need to be called, whose door needs to be knocked on, who maybe need a ride to the polls. So if you have some time and you want to really be involved in winning this election, sign up to help. Because when your kids and grandkids ask you what you did in 2016, when it was all on the line, I want you to be able to say, I voted for a better, fairer, stronger America, where everybody has a I am so excited about this election. 
because I really think we're going to send a message from coast to coast, east to west, north to south, about who we are as a country. And if we do what we should, then on November the 9th, this coming Wednesday, we can all wake up and say, I'm going to do my part to make sure that America lives up to its promise to every one of our people, especially every one of our children who deserve the chance to live up to their God-given potential. So tonight, tonight it is a celebration for everything that you've already done to help us and all that we will do together. And I am thrilled to be able to introduce a performer whose music has a wonderful passion. I was thrilled when, when our incredible guest tonight came out and started campaigning for me way back in Iowa before the caucuses because I love the message. When you get knocked down, which everybody does, what matters is get back up. Stand up for what you believe. Know the power of your own voice. It can change the world. And let's once and for all, as we welcome her to the stage, let's prove that love trumps hate.